That's India with its enormous diversity of plants and animals. But this rich biodiversity is now threatened. Growth of human societies seems to be the prime reason behind every threat to biodiversity. But conservation of biodiversity is possible along with growth and development. Only we have to think of ways and means to achieve sustainable development and also the will to do it. Our government has set up various protected areas in the form of national parks, sanctuaries and bio-reserves all over India to protect the unique biodiversity of each and every area of our country. Biodiversity is our national heritage. The tiger is endangered and it is being protected under Project Tiger launched by Government of India. The number of tigers probably have halved in the past 25 years according to World Wildlife Fund. There are perhaps only 3,500 tigers left in the whole world now. Project Tiger has been launched in Jim Corbett National Park. Ranthambo Tiger Reserve and other areas throughout India. There are 27 tiger reserves in India under the project Tiger launched by the government. Asiatic lion is now found and protected only in the Gir forests of Gujarat. Many birds are also endangered in India. The Bharatpur bird sanctuary called the Keola Deo National Park is a famous water bird sanctuary for protection and conservation of birds. <laughs> the wild ass, the flamingo and desert fox are some endangered species of our country. These are protected in the great and little run of Kutch. The coastal animal life is conserved in the Chilka Lake in Orissa. Bhitarkanika Sanctuary in Orissa is the nesting site of Oliver Ridley turtles where they are being protected. 
Over 100 protected areas have been created in Andaman and Nicobar Islands to protect our plant and animal life. Project Elephant to conserve elephants is running in 12 states of North, Northeastern and South India. Perrier Sanctuary in Kerala is one such sanctuary. The Kashmir stag, also known as Hangul, is rare. It is conserved in the Dachigam Sanctuary in Kashmir. And one horned rhinoceros is conserved in the Kaziranga National Park. Sometimes, when animal species are close to extinction, their number is increased by breeding them in artificially managed conditions. Crocodiles and gavials are being bred in Kukrel near Lucknow. Villages in many areas form forest protection committees and one surakshak samitis with the help of forest department to protect their resources. People in many areas of India collect seeds of local rice varieties of rajma pulses vegetables spices and herbs to preserve and conserve the local varieties and grow them in their fields. Our traditions teach us to respect all forms of life. A number of traditional beliefs and practices have helped to preserve flora and fauna in certain areas in their pristine glory. The banyan and kadam trees are considered sacred in our country. In December every year, hundreds of spot-billed pelicans, painted storks, ibises and other birds migrate to breed at Kokar Belur, which is a village in Karnataka. The local people protect these birds. They believe that these birds are going to bring them good luck. Around some villages in Rajasthan, herds of black buck and nilgai are looked after. We now know that government has taken a lot of measures to preserve the biodiversity of India. But time has arrived when each and every citizen of India has to play a role in saving our rich biodiversity. Can we think of ways to contribute to conservation of biodiversity around us? <laughs>